what does it feel to you uh, being uh, you know a light top two percent scientists uh, every year released by Stanford University sir what does that feel to you <laughs> well that brings a lot of challenges because the community expects a lot more <laughs> so I have to I do a lot more while doing all these administrative things for the university keeping research the way I was doing I would say 20 years ago and now it is simply not easy because a lot of administrative things, you know, like days are gone with a lot of meetings and, you know, all these, I would say, things which can interfere my regular uh, research time. But I enjoy research, so I try to have a nice balance between my administrative jobs and my research agenda. So I try to make a nice balance. It has been going pretty well over the last few years and I hope that it will again continue for the coming years as well. So uh, you've been, uh, you know, uh, your papers been published in more than uh, 1500 publications totally. And also uh, your books has been translated to uh, Chinese and also uh, Russian too. And also one of the uh, publication, uh, you know, uh, translated to Japanese as you see your profile. How does that, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> makes you feel? Well, publication is just a media to show to the world that we have done something. Yeah. Numbers doesn't mean that much for me because for me it is mostly, you know, showing to the world that we have done something. So I would like to especially thank all my students, my postdoctoral fellows, my collaborators over the last, I would say, 25 plus years for various collaborations and, you know, various engagements. A lot of projects, a lot of research support from various agencies, from various governments all around the world. So numbers, of course numbers matters, but quality matters. Quality. Quality. So finally, you know, what matters is impact. For example, I write a paper, I publish a paper. How many other researchers are using those papers for their own work? Oh. So that makes impact. And some of my work has been translated to Chinese, Japanese and Russian and recently I've been invited to uh, Russia. Two months ago I was in St. Petersburg, the St. Petersburg Economic Forum, which is I think the 30 plus years old forum inaugurated by a Professor, sorry, uh, yes, Dr. Vladimir Putin, the oh. President of oh, yeah. Russia himself inaugurated the, this thing. and. Mm -hmm. I was invited to speak in a panel chaired by the Deputy Prime Minister of Russia uh, about AI, the future. 